Hello everyone, AM Harbinger here, and I'm playing Grounded today. So this game recently came out on the Xbox Game Preview program, and yeah, as you can see there, it's a pre-release software, doesn't reflect the final product, yada yada yada. Let's get started and judge this game as if it was a final product. I'm kidding, of course. So this is from Obsidian Entertainment, they're the ones who did South Park The Stick of Truth, and the more recent, The Outer Worlds, which was fantastic, I loved it. So, single player, new game, let's get started. Uh, okay. Moderate stress level, manage thirst, hunger, and health. Okay, so it's a survival experience. I know very little about this game outside from the initial trailer they showed. I just know that it's like, honey, I shrunk the kids in a gameplay form. So, coming here kind of fresh. So, we have Max, Willow, Pete, and Hoops. They're all kids. She's wearing Converse sneakers, so she's gonna have a terrible time walking in all that dirt. I mean, seriously, why do people buy Converse sne sneakers? Genuine. Tangent. Why do people buy those sneakers? I wore one pair of those, and I was like, my feet felt like they were gonna fall off. They have no padding. They look like... They, they're just like, what the hell? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm an asex person. I'm gonna go with hoops. Oh, they talk? Okay. Oops. I guess if you hit B, it just takes you back to the menu. Alley -hoo. So only one of the characters talks, so I'm gonna pick the character that does talk. Here. Ready to mix it up? Yeah, let's start the game. I know I went on a bit of a tangent with Converse, but I'm just genuinely curious why people buy those sneakers when they're so uncomfortable. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but for me it felt like my feet were literally killing me from the inside out after I wore a pair of those. Went straight back to Asex. Okay, the load times are a bit long. Uh, goddamn Ghost of Shishima, why did you spoil me with all those fast loading times? But <laughs> I blame Sucker Punch. Fast load times in giant open worlds. Oh, so they just plop us into the world. Investigate surroundings. Remember what happened. Hey. Where am I? What the heck is this place? Also, everything seems so big. Whoa. Or am I really, really? Okay, game plan. Figure out where I am. Find out what happened. Then knock it down, hoop style. Okay, is she done talking? The dialogue kind of cut out there, but again, this is uh, like a beta. So there are five bodies here, but we saw only four selectable characters. Also, the fact that they're in this type of padded case with like some sort of fluid, uh, I guess, attaching to their Whoa. hand. I'm not just small. Uh, it says I'm that kidding. they're either experiments or some sort of a tiny robot. I mean, they could be human, but why are they in the padded case? <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Oh, what's that? Crouch. Oh wow, look at the perspective on this. this is really good. Wow. Look at that huge baseball. <laughs> Damn, uh what's that? So am I outside my home? Oh wow, I can collect stuff, okay. Rock. Just uh, I'm gonna pick up everything just in case. So I need an axe. Okay. Oh wait, can I go in third person? I can emote. Oh cool, you can go in third person. This is awesome. Let's see what one of these emotes do. Air guitar. Point. Cheer. Yeah! Woo, woo, woo. You got it. No. Later. Okay, so a lot of good quick options. Open crafting. Pebble spear. I need two more springs. Fiber bandage. Split roast. You know, for a kid, being able to build all this is kind of impressive. <laughs> Wait, mushrooms? I can eat wild mushrooms. Okay. Do not eat wild mushrooms in real life. Wild mushrooms are almost always poisonous. You know what the ironic part is, is that, uh, I remember this from the Hunger Games, but it's a general survival tip. Survival tip. If you don't know what plants are safe to eat, don't eat it. 
because plants are not like meat or fruit or uh, well fruit are technically fruit and vegetables are technically uh plants but yeah reg plants that look like this and fungi if you don't know what's safe to eat do not eat it because chances are it will kill you in a horrible way oh wow scientist base so did they create all this stuff and then shrunk uh shrunk it it's like rick and morty i'm guessing this isn't the only one of these science pods I should keep searching and see what else I can turn up. I have to analyze a rock? It's a rock. Uh, okay. Analyze complete. It's a rock. <laughs> I can make a pebble axe out of... I, 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 you know, I'm a lost of, I'm a lost for words right now. So I analyze each of these individual materials and they tell me new crafting options that I can get. So I can't just craft everything in the game. I have to learn what they do. And I have limited charges of how many things I can analyze. So I don't get if that's hours or minutes. Like that could be 9 minutes 6 seconds or 9 hours 6 minutes. I don't know. What's that? 20 what? 20 purple cylinder candies? An ant. Please don't try and kill me. That is a little ironic. Don't ants attack anything that's a, flu a food source on site? Okay, I guess they don't attack me. Look at how her ponytail just flings everywhere. Giant fuzz. Hairs from dust mites. Is that a basketball court? D Does that look like a basketball court in any shape or form? I mean, clearly it's a communication device. Alright, let's uh, hop on this thing. Mysterious machine, powers. <laughs> There's a meter for science? So if I hit this to max, do I have max science? Alright, uh, find whatever's obstructing the lasers. Okay. So there's the first laser. Let's go and see what's there. Workbunch, trail maker, uh, trail marker. How do I make wool and fiber? Now I can fight. <laughs> A little girl just made a spear. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, something a little girl should not know how to do, but I know how to make a spear now. I'm surprised her parents aren't out here yelling her name. Where are you, Hoops? I can't find you. And that looked like blood for a second. It's a bit red on my screen. Eat some food. Don't I have those mushrooms? Let's eat some mushrooms that definitely are safe to eat. So is she going to start the trip? She just ate wild mushrooms. So hardened sap. So I can make a hammer. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing. Alright, let's see what's causing- Oh, okay. Of course there are damn insects. Stab the insect. Hoops is here to stab some insects. Ho, oh, oh. ho! You can do a perfect block for parry attacks. I think I uh, stole that ant's meal. Equip torch. I don't have a torch. 
Oh, that's okay. I'll be fine. Okay, I probably won't be fine. Just keep stabbing! Stab in the dark! I'll hit something! Just follow the sound, right? Crap! Leave me alone! Alright, time to run! How do I get out of here? Just head back. See, I didn't need a stupid torch. I just went in there and started stabbing. Oh, what's over here? I know I should probably check that uh, device again, but I really want to see what's up here. Something seems to... What's attacking me? Man, I love stamina meters. How many of these things are there? Mm, can't waste food. Can't waste food. God, something is attacking me. Just keep running, right? Oh, it says craft bandages. So the very item that I just crafted won't go into my uh, immediate inventory. That's nice. I guess I need water. How do I get that? I need an axe. I keep pressing start. Okay, I'm just gonna guess that in order to create what I need, I need uh, to analyze that stuff. What just attacked me? Stupid fly? Alright, so I got an axe now, which again... Uh, anything you create immediately should just go back into your... Uh, should be in your hotbar immediately. So I'm definitely gonna need some more rocks. Alright, now I can craft... Hammer. Oh look, the ants are attacking that bug. And it's dead. Oh, and they take it. Wow, that is. Wow, cool. Stupid fly. Leave me alone. Slurp, yeah. That's not refreshing. That's not refreshing. But we'll eat wild mushrooms, but we won't drink random water. 
I mean, that does make sense. I'm not gonna... Uh... Alright, there we go. Alright, now I can get that water. I can't punch it. Oh wait, did it fall? Oh, it fell! Okay, so I just had to punch it. Oh, it's like that movie Ants! You ever seen that movie Ants, uh, chat? It's like, uh... They had those little balls of water? <laughs> Alright, so what's the next one? Oh, okay. Just chop this down. There we go. Not sure what any of that's for, but okay. Alright, so we got the lasers aligned. Let's activate this thing. Okay, so, uh, that happened. <laughs> Seriously, what's with these flies? Ha! No, come here. Ha! Stupid flies, leave me alone. And I didn't notice that, it's a ladybug. Well, they're harmless. Alright, so let's go to that big tree. Oh, more water, I think. Oh, no, that's just, uh... Regular stuff I don't need. Sap. I like how the tree, uh... The grass moves along with the ladybug. It's really good. Got it! Raw aphid meat. For a kid, she's really good at surviving. I would have died by now. Oh, you can cook this stuff, okay. Oh, crap! Spider- Ah! Oh. Just out of nowhere, a spider just appears. Okay. Okay, so if I die, uh, I just respawn back to my last known location. So, let me get this straight. Spiders, which are generally ambush predators, attack on sight. But the uh, ants, which are more likely to attack on sight, anything that's a food source, are not going to attack me. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, would, I don't want to be swarmed by ants, but... I don't know. Oh, look at the top left corner. <laughs> that font needs to be fixed. All right, let's head back to this uh, Gosa Shishima tree. The oak tree, I mean. All right, I'm here. I guess I can't uh, harvest this leaf. I can harvest the acorn door. All right, acorn, give me something good. Construction so I can build home bases. Leave me alone. <laughs> Build shelter. So I have to build a shelter. Ha! 
I mean, if you're gonna live in the wild, you might as well bring a bunch of nuts. Oh crap, more. Not gonna try and take on those things. One killed me in one hit. There has to be some sort of armor system, because those things killed me very easily. I like how this little girl carries that big, huge acorn shell. Uh, I think that's enough. Let's go to the ominous light. Oh look, it's juice! Oh look, something is hidden in the tree. I just think I found my home base. Well, uh, this looks inviting. Definitely doesn't look like a lab from Umbrella. Uh, Aminet? That glowy thing looks like some real nerd stuff. You can tell that she's smart. Transcription, order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Burglar, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, cooking flipping, and grilling. So basically, it's a SpongeBob robot. <laughs> Grilling, a feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren, now co-signed to the scrap heap. So they destroyed a bunch of fry cooks. Oh wait. Oh wait, I can play it? Brutal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello! My name is Burgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. That's right. Grilling is important. I mean, how else are you going to make some really good uh, hamburgers? Pull. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. It's a puzzle. Got it. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Give me a second. Got it! Uh, what's that sound? Uh, that does not look good. Okay, it's attacking. I mean, attack by Wally here! I wonder if I could sh uh, throw this thing. Death to Wally! Or Taser. I got 100 uh, purple candies. There's a purple candy in there. I want it. Data link. I'll go there. Wait. Let me check what's in here. Oh, that's clever! They used the uh, double... Uh, what, what type of batteries are these? I forgot. But they're using like... Just larger forms of the battery in order to uh, charge their lab. What's this? Oh, more candies. This game is pretty clever. Help. Let's get you back in action. Burglar, he needs he our help. How else are we going to get another fried cook in here? Thanks for the helping hand. You're my fried cook I now. Am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. 
I am also a robot. Really? You're a robot? I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation, because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu qu questions you might have. You found Burglar and the story is just getting started. There's so much more to do and more mystery to uncover. Continue to explore, build bases, take on Burglar's quest, and provide us feedback to how to make the experience better. We are making new content, creatures, and stories. Stay tuned for a new update. Thank you again. Oh, this is the end? Oh, that's such a tease. There is so much I wanted to know. Ah, uh, well, I guess that's what we get for early access. Why does it look like he has like an uh, upset rainbow colored mouth or is that a mustache let's talk to him hello there acting science manager B -B burgle at your service thinking about it why don't you work on building a bigger B -B base first it seems like the insects in the yard have been getting a little riled up why can't i just live at this base i mean clearly it's much easier to defend it has steel walls <laughs> i mean why wouldn't i want to live in this place that would be the smart thing <laughs> can you call my parents <laughs> I like how the little girl is more concerned about it finding her parents, but now we have to play scientist. As acting science manager, I am happy to answer your cuckoo questions. It is definitely not cooked science. <laughs> uh, I'm a lost little child who has no idea where her parents are and have to fight off deadly insects. This is probably not the good time to start making jokes, but what do I know? Your freaky robot featured after SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot give you a more helpful explanation. Its true nature eluded even to Dr. Tully. What I can say is that we observed it to be a byproduct of the experimentation process. Anything more than that would be pure conjecture. As acting science manager, I am happy to answer your cuckoo questions. Ah. That is one of Dr. Tully's most ingenious inventions. The Scanner for the Bracelet, a.k.a. Scabby. Scabby? What kind of crap name is that? A portable device which can monitor your vital signs by tapping directly into your bloodstream. So it's a much more intrusive version of the Fitbit. Got it. Quite the elegant design, don't you agree? Not really. The fact that you literally just stole children forced them into this type of experiment and now you're basically monitoring their body signatures using a violation piece of technology. Uh, yeah, you know, that that makes sense. As acting science manager, uh, you look like you still have questions. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thinking about it, why don't you work on- You look like a question about me? I'm flattered! I am the last existing burger lad, Mark IV, created by D -D Dr. Tully. Since his disappearance, I have been continuing his research and experiments. I am a f -f -f fully functional research assistant. I can answer science questions as well as assign tasks for you to complete. I'm gonna be intrusive. What is the point of you? I am the last existing burger lad, Mark. I am a f -f -f fully oh, I already asked that question. Assistant. I can answer science questions every day. I will have a number of t -t tasks for you. My budding science has finished them, and I will reward you. Just do not mention anything to OSHA. The last thing I need is another investigation into underage labor p -p practices. Okay, so they did t uh, steal me from my home, and this is kidnapping. Got it. Uh. Cooking, flipping, grilling. I have been adapting my functionality with the assistance of Dr. Tully. I am also trained in organization, data science, and mustache grooming. So that is a mustache. Though I suspect you will not be needing the latter for a year or two. <laughs> okay. Cooking. Flip. I have been adapting. Though I suspect you will not be needing the... Consuming raw or undercooked meats may increase your risk of foodborne illness, especially if you have certain medical conditions. Medium rare. Medium if you must. 
But if you request well done, I will show you the truth behind my grilling function. <laughs> Is that a threat? Okay, I mean, he does have a point. If you order beef well done, you just should have ordered chicken. That is a sin against meat. You look like you still have questions. Is there anything else I can help you with? If you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy Also, that to stuff I've been collecting is called raw science. I prefer my uh, name for them, candies. Bring me more of my lost research. I have to collect Always research tips. To see a repeat. Three bold quests arrive each day. Foot the wind carries tales of new research resource to examine. Will you bring the knowledge of potions, new weapons, or exotic treats onward? Plumb the deeps of si depths of science. Okay. Always happy to see a repeat. Cast three bold. I completed it, so what is it? <laughs> okay. So that's the end of this game. That was really quick. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, another research tape. Google transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Th thank you! I will never forget this moment. Okay. Um, that was weird. This guy really likes his burgers. And wow, it's dark out. So I'm just going to travel in a random direction and see what happens. Run from the spiders. Run! Stupid spiders. Time to build my house. Okay, they need to expand the limit of which you can carry these uh, grass planks. When shelter becomes an important part of the game... You gotta be kidding me, what the hell is that thing? It's a cockroach! Dear god, that thing is huge! I'll just go up here. Now there's a cockroach in my house! Gotta be kidding me. Why is it near me? Leave me alone! Just go somewhere else. A cockroach just stole my house, everyone. Literally, I spent... Why? Why would you want my house? Go take someone else's house. It can't get up here, right? Just go away! Oh, I finally gave up. Seriously! You were caught in a house and a cockroach just comes in and tries to take it from you. I almost died because I didn't finish building the walls. Is it still around here? It's still around here. It's still coming into my house. Leave me alone. <laughs> like, what the hell did I do to you? Why are you attracted to my house? What's his obsession with me? Leave me alone. Oh, my God. Alright, so I build my I try to build my house, but this cockroach won't leave me alone. Huh? I don't know if I'm in its territory and that's why it's attacking me, but it wasn't here before. I guess I'm gonna have to fight. Never mind, I'm too scared. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I think it's stuck. Oh, it's a stink bug. Yeah, it's stuck. Yeah, die, you bastard. Let me just uh, recharge. Just going to keep doing this until you die. Stupid stink bug, you're about to die. I thought it was a cockroach. It's dinner time. Just keep stabbing it until it's dead. And there we go! Where's its body? Inventory is full, of course it is. That's nice, everything just despawned after I uh, killed that thing in the most, uh, I guess, cheating way possible. Oh, there it is. Got it. I can make gas arrows now. Alright, so I'm here. I need to analyze some stuff. Hopefully it'll teach me how to do stuff. Alright, so I know how to make a roof now. Uh, spring bro, all that good stuff. Uh, flower petals. Or trap. Yes, I finally found wheat stem. <laughs> and I have to carry it. <laughs> so I guess I'm abandoning that other house. I'm sorry, but I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna make a house here. My new house will be, uh, can I build it on top of this thing? Nope. Uh. I killed that, uh, stink bug in my other house. I guess I g gotta do what I gotta do, right? I'm not making anything too fancy, just something small and easy. To maintain. That was strange. Why is all the roof slanted? This is one weird house. Like back to collecting grass. This is great gameplay. I love doing this. One eternity later. And there you have it, my unfinished, very, very crappy house. <laughs> Complete with walls, open in, crappy roof. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
So, um, first impressions on Grounded. I... It's a very, it's an interesting game, but right now it doesn't really have a lot of compelling elements to make me, like, be extremely excited for the future of this title. I mean, there's promise here, a foundation, and the atmosphere is really good. I love the uh, overgrowth and the idea of where all of this is going is enticing, like, who is Ominid, uh, why am I in this world? All those questions are extremely alluring. But the gameplay, uh, it's less to be desired. Like, the building mechanic, I can see what they're trying to go with this, with the whole survival concept. But it's just not that great. I mean, for me to just build this little crappy shack by myself, it took a while. I mean, it didn't take a while time period, but in terms of gameplay, I had to chop down so many trees, I had to locate dandelions in order to make this seam. It's all for this little crappy place. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot more better YouTubers who are able to construct something much more elaborate, but this is from my first in experience. Like, I don't know, it's just not that really appealing, and the fact that insects could just break this down at any time, yeah, it doesn't make that even more appealing. Either way, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this game evolves over time, but for now, it's a mediocre survival game, not that alluring, something that I would see an indie uh, studio create, but Obsidian, who is known for like Fallout New Vegas, uh, South Park The Stick of Truth, and The Outer, War uh, the Outer Worlds, uh, I don't know. Still a lot to be desired. So I may come back to this game in a later Let's Play, for now I'm gonna le let it go. Uh, tell me what you think about Grounded. Are you enjoying it? Do you think it has a lot of issues? Uh, do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time everyone, stay awesome.